But a question I have too for this fight is with Fury putting on all the, I, I really can't wait to see the weigh-in because so far he hasn't looked as in good a shape as he was heading into that second fight. He just hasn't. Well, Wilder, go to the body, baby. Yeah. Go to the body. You know they are. It's just, we'll, we'll see if he could be effective doing it. Yeah. But Fury in that first round, he did take a right. I mean, he, you know, his head rolled with it a little bit, but he did eat a, a nice hammer of a right hand from Wilder and he ate it no problem. Yeah. I'm wondering, you know, how was Deion, again, his legs, although it was the first round, but yeah. maybe Fury with all this weight on him, it's going to take more than one or two. We don't know. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, he'd been, yeah, he'd been dropped by Steve Cunningham, but these yeah. days he took one or two of those right hands pretty, pretty easily last yeah. time around. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting, I guess, to see if because I don't Fury obviously, and he uses that now as kind of a crutch. In that first fight, I was just coming off of blah blah blah. I did all this, and I think physically, I wonder if he's closer to that than he was in the, in the second fight, like you mentioned. Right. Right. If he physically is closer to haven't really done much in a while, kind of COVID body <laughs> where we all you know, put on some weight. Also, Look I, seriously, I heard it was Mike. lies about giving up his whole purse. Look seriously, I'll Mike. never forget that. Remember that. I uh, never believe that anyway. People tell me. Look Go seriously, ahead. mate. Tyson Fury, uh -oh. he's one of the best in the world, uh -oh. mate. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hell of a fight. It, it's, it's I don't like, know if you were doing Tony Bell. You no, there? I don't know who that, that was. That is kind of Tony. It was a little. It was a little. Sean Paul. It was a little Bell US. Look, he's one of the best in the world. I need mate. you to get Eubank Senior. <laughs> That's where you'll, you'll win me over. You get you get Eubank Senior in your in your arsenal. I'll be impressed. Well, you know, mate, it's on his best day. Deontay Wilder, he's hell of a puncher, isn't he? You got hell Floyd. Of, you got Floyd. Huh? You got Floyd Mayweather. We, we're not here to talk about no. That's Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> it was limited, but it was there. Oh. Yeah. No, you get you get Eubank like Senior. Like I had to hear it twice in my head. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> a little you bit. get Eubank Senior in there, and I'll, I'll be impressed. If but. you're a reporter, that's that's the, what you hear from Floyd more than anything else. Is we, what? Hell of a fighter. Yeah. Hell of a fighter. That's what you hear. If you walked up to Floyd right now, and say, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about Carson Merck? He'll be like, oh, he, he's a he's um, a hell of a fighter. Undefeated. Yeah. Strong. I beg not. Stop. He's just the fat <laughs> white guy that refuses to get in the boxing ring. Hell of a podcast. Yeah, hell of a podcast. But <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, no matter what happens, Sunday is going to be interesting because we're going to be sitting there looking Saturday. back. On, no, I'm saying Sunday, looking back oh, yeah. on, on the fight. The Saturday. fallout's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. fallout? Yeah, just because if if Wilder yeah. blows him out, it's going to be like, hey, told you guys he cheated and beat me in the second fight. <laughs> Like what happened to the third it's one? Cold. Like, it's cold. It, 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 but it's simple though. If, 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 if Wilder smokes him, he's gonna be like, "I told you. Yeah. I gave you these things that, that happened." Oh, if yeah. he clips him in the first, and, and that, and that, if he clips in him in the first, we will. He'll never get quiet again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if and if and if, and if Wild and if and if Fury beats him, I think I don't. I'm maybe maybe I'm looking at this in a, in a optimistic way. I don't take Deontay as a, overall as a sore loser. I don't take that kind of vibe from him. So I think if he goes into this and loses a decision, whatever happens, yeah. I don't I don't think he's going to say, nah, well, this I did, cause I didn't that. like all the excuses. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I was I, raised I, just accept and yeah, move I don't, on. Yeah, and I think we all kind of were just like, let's just get, get to the trilogy, make it happen. But I don't think like if he loses, I don't think it's, I don't think we're going to see like uh, excuses or anything like that. I think he's going to say. You got a list last time though. Yeah, and maybe maybe they were justified. We'll find out. Maybe they weren't. I, I know for a fact. No, he he better walk in there with a towel. I was on gonna like say, Mike Tyson. I guarantee you this: his team is going to watch every single thing that happens intently. Can you have two eye, two sets of eyes in there? Yep, they're gonna have somebody that has X ray vision <laughs> in there looking at water, hand wraps. Everything, oh, yeah, Malik ain't having it. Oh, there, shout yeah. out to and Chris. Chris ain't having it. Nah, Chris is not having it. <laughs> he is not playing no games. <laughs> shout out to the LA, uh, California uh, Athletic State Commission. Uh, my dad's fighters fought out there. What was that about two weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. And I wrapped their hands. And before I, I wrapped each one of their hands, the, the rest were, or the, excuse me, the commission were they were smelling the, the pads that I was making for the guy. Okay, so just so y'all know. We take gauze and we wrap it around our hands to make a thick pad. When y'all see the pad, that's what that is. It's, it's unless gauze. You're, unless you're margarita, then it was a cast. 
And he was started telling me stories about how fighters from Mexico would come out there, and he said, "Man, we had to start really policing these guys, smelling the uh, the the gauze and smelling the uh, the pads because they were reusing pads from other fights and all this and that." And well, they imagine having to smell a pad that had this, been used in another fight. Ooh. And for this to be a low, like as low level as this was, even though it was FS1, for them to still be intent, uh, attentive and things like that was pretty tight. So. Um, I'm, I'm expecting or not expecting, but, uh, again, I mean, like we've talked about this before, like these other commissions have to step up. We talked about possibly having a referee like outside to kind of talk to the other referee doing fight. Yeah. Like we got to work together. Why do we continue to work against one another in yeah. the sport of boxing? Just cause it, it's tradition of it. And completely that's how it's, uh, hurts the sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Somebody start smelling some gauze out here already. Nevada State Commission and make this thing happen the way it's supposed to happen. We don't need any mistakes. I want to smell in this the gauze. I vote Carson. No, pass. Come sm- I do not smell smell the gauze. Gauze. Yeah, I was Imagine like. Imagine being the gauze smeller. They're like, hey. One side of me was like really impressed. The other side of me was like, like damn, man, you better like put a, your life on the like line. It's like baseball. They go to the bullpen. They're like, hey, bring him in. And the guy's like, all right, where's the gauze? I'm ready to smell it. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All right. It. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.